We need a beer. Sonic, aka SRT Fantasy, GTA 4, and today I am going to teach you how to create a melody for beginners. So let's get started. First of all, open up a DAW or a program that lets you create beats and stuff. The one I'm using is Alpha Studio because it's my favorite one. Anyways, open up the piano roll and let's get started. Anyways, let's get started. So, open up the piano roll, and let's start off with the basics on how to create a melody. So, for beginners, this tutorial is aimed for beginners, by the way. Let me get that out of the way. This is not for more advanced people. <laughs> Anyways, so, the best thing I recommend doing for a beginner producer is um, pick a key that you want your song to be in. It doesn't matter if it's a major key or a minor key, but pick a key as the first thing you do with your song. Um, a key, if you don't know what that is, then, oops, um, <laughs> then this video might be a little confusing for you. You don't need to know much theory to watch this and understand this, but there are a few basic theory terms that I really think you should know. Um, a key is basically a sequence of notes that sounds right together, if that makes sense. For example, let's we're going to play two keys. We're going to play the A minor key and the C major key. Why? Because they're the easiest keys ever. They're all white notes. So the A minor key starts in A and ends in A. So it's... A B C D E L A B C D E F G A. Now let's play the C major key. Ah, God, excuse me. I don't have a keyboard connected right now, so it's really weird playing notes using a mouse. But anyways, yeah, you get the idea. So first was the A minor key, and then the C major key. Um, so a key, like I said, is basically like you saw um, certain notes that sound right when played together or not necessarily played together but when played um, in a song or whatever in a piece if it makes any sense just google the definition I can't define it very well but hopefully you got what I'm trying to say um, one thing I will say is a major key is a happy or sound like a happy or positive sounding key or notes and a minor key is a negative sad sounding notes you know so yeah i don't know how to explain it well just google what a key is okay hopefully all of you watching this know what that is already oh enough chit chat man i went off for too long on that so first step, pick a key you want your song to be in okay um now this is where the fun starts once you pick a key you want to use notes in that key to create a melody so, for example, we're going to use the C major key since it's the easiest key ever. It's all white notes. It's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C all over the keyboard. By the way, uh, a key keeps repeating even when you reach an octave, okay? So, for example, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then it repeats C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and so on. C, D, E, F, G, um, A, B, C. You get the idea. A, a, a key repeats all over the keyboard okay all over the piano roll I want you guys to know that it doesn't just start at C3 and end at C4 it goes throughout the whole piano okay so that's what a key is a key goes on and on and on until you reach the highest note possible you have on your keyboard or piano roll or whatever you use to make music anyways so let's get started since we picked the key of C major, I'm going to create a melody in the key of C major using notes in the C major scale, or the C major key, whatever. So, let's do that. I'm going to create a random melody really quickly. This is probably going to sound horrible, but it's worth a try.
No, it's a very simple melody. It sounds kind of trancy. Sounds terrible. But that doesn't sound terrible, but it's not. It sounds very basic. But the point is, I created a melody using notes in the C major scale. Hopefully that made sense. So first step, pick a key. Second step, once you pick the key, use notes in that key to create a melody. That simple. Um, I'll give you another example. Let's use the A minor scale. The A minor scale is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and so on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. It keeps repeating, and it repeats down and up as well, you know. Hopefully that makes sense. So, let's use notes in the A minor scale to uh, create a melody. So there I just created a melody in a different key. Now I created a melody in the key of A minor. Pretty cool, right? So now a lot of you are thinking, how can I make a melody sound more, how do you say, interesting? Well, there are many ways to do this. Um, you can use effects, like filters and stuff, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to you know, focus on the aspects of note lengths and basic music theory. And by making a melody more interesting, one thing you can do is play around with note lengths. In this example, it almost sounds like a bass line, but anyways, in this example, I'm using quarter notes. But what if we, instead of using quarter notes, use different note lengths for the notes we're using? For example, I want to do two eighth notes here. Mm, let's do some sixteenth notes over here. Let's do. Hmm. Actually, wait. Yeah, these are sixteenth notes. My bad. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Yeah, these are sixteenth notes. Uh, let's keep that as a quarter. Let's keep this as eighth notes. Let's make this into a whole, uh, half note and uh, let's do two quarters two eighth notes here and one quarter here so we got two eighths four sixteenths one quarter two eighth notes one half note two eighth notes and one quarter note so what I did is I basically kept the melody the same I mean yeah I kinda did a little something different over here but I basically kept it the same but all I did was change the note lengths. Let's see how this sounds. It already sounds slightly more complex, and if you're, you know, trying to create something a little fancier, I definitely recommend playing with the note lengths. So there you go. That's another thing you can do when creating a melody. Mess around with the note lengths. So let's recap. Pick a key, use notes in that key to create a melody, and if you want, you can play around with the note lengths to make it sound more complex or just cooler in general. So there you go. Alright, and now you're probably wondering. The notes, or the notes, the, the melodies you're um, showing us sound very basic. My question is, how do I create something more melodic, something more attractive to the ear? Is it even possible? with such basic knowledge that you have taught us? And the answer is yes, it is possible. I'm going to teach you how to create something more melodic, such as this. Now, to create something more melodic, uh, I mean, if you want to get technical, it is a little harder. Uh, when I create something melodic in my songs, I usually sing it in my head first, or just play around with note lengths and stuff, or maybe even use modes, um, which are like different types of scales within a key to uh, 
experiment and stuff. But let's not get into modes. That's something much more complex for later in the future for me to explain. But um, the best way to create something melodic when you're a beginner is by going in different parts of a scale or key. So let me give you an example. I start off a melody near the root note at first, as you can see. The root note is the the first note of a key or scale then I go a little lower than the root note as you can see the section then in this section I go quite higher I go like an octave higher than the root note then I go back to like the upper middle then I go all the way down an octave so what I'm saying is I go up and down the scale and if you pay attention the things I did are quite basic. I mean, all the notes are half, or quarter notes, excuse me. Actually, no, they're eighth notes. My bad. All the notes I used are eighth notes. Um, so the note lengths are not complex at all. They're very simple note lengths. But all I did was change around where the notes were located, and I created something pretty melodic. <laughs> Now, I'll give you an example. It's very important to play around with positions w to uh, where the notes are located because if I played them in areas where, uh, if I played them in crap, if I played them in areas where uh, the notes were in very similar positions, then the whole song wouldn't sound as special. I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, but as you can see, it doesn't sound as melodic. It lost the magical melodicness. So, a thing I recommend doing to make something sound more, like a melody more uh, complex, is to uh, just play around with where the notes are located. Whether they be like an octave lower or higher than, you know, a different section. Just play around with note positioning and play around with note lengths and boom you got it now if I wanted to make this melody even more complex I could play around with the note lengths as well but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial because that would take me far too long but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed so let's recap on how to create a melody for beginners pick a key okay stick to that key use notes in that key to create a melody and you can create one simply by playing around with notes that's usually what I do <laughs> um, if you want to make it more interesting you can either um, change the note lengths after you do the melody and or um, make a melody more melodic by you know changing like the note um, locations that makes sense also another tip just you don't need a note playing at every single little beat of a measure. You can like skip, you know, a uh, beat or two. You can take away notes. You can, you know, make some places muted. You get what I'm saying? You don't need a note at every single location. As you can see. You know, sometimes taking away a note or two for melody can be magical. So you don't need a note playing at every single second of the song. So that's another tip I can give you. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Sorry if it sounded weird or awkward. I'm just not used to doing tutorials. I haven't done one in years. Hope I could, hope I helped you guys. And uh, yeah, just have fun making music. And hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help. And, um, yeah. Later.